हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू मैं ध्रुव आप सब लोगों को वेलकम करती हूँ मेरी चैनल एल पर इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई डिस्कस अबाउट टू हिज कॉय मिस्ट्रेस बाय एंड्रू मार्बल एंड दिस वीडियो विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट विदरिंग हाइट्स बाय इमली ब्रॉइंट इन दिस वीडियो आई विल प्रोवाइड यू एवरी क्रिटिकल एनालाइज एंड द प्लॉट ऑफ द विदरिंग हाइट्स सो फ्रेंड्स लेस्ट चलिए शुरू करते हैं Heights is written by Emily Bronte in 1847 under the pseudonym of Alice Bell. So, before we learn about the novel, we have to discuss or we have to focus the character map of the novel. चलिए तो मैंने यहाँ पर थोड़ा character map बना लिया है तो इस character map पर हम लोगों को focus करना पड़ेगा तो चलिए Mr. Arnshaw and Mrs. Arnshaw and Mr. Linton and Mrs. Linton. They are the two pairs of the family. ये आंशो फैमिली है ये लिंटन फैमिली है एंड कैथरीन एंड हिंडले आर द सॉन एंड डॉटर ऑफ द आंशो फैमिली इजाबेला एंड एट गर्ड आर द सॉन एंड डॉटर ऑफ द लिंटन फैमिली हिंडले मैरिड टू फ्रांसिस एट गर्ड मैरिड टू कैथरीन एंड हिथ क्लिप द मेन प्रोटोगिस्ट कैरेक्टर ऑफ द नोवेल और द मेन कैरेक्टर हु मैरिड टू इजाबेला and hariton is the son of finland catherine kathy is the daughter of edgar and catherine and linton is the son of hethcliff and isabella so in this novel uh, we find third generation three generation so what are the three generation first generation is mr and mrs ansho and mr and mrs linton and the second generation is hinley francis edgar catherine hethcliff isabella and the third generation is Hariton, Cathy, and Linton. Beside the main character, uh, here we find the two other character. They are the storyteller and the story listener. So, who is the storyteller of the novel? Nellie Dean is the storyteller of the novel, and Lockwood is the story listener of the novel. The novel begins with Lockwood, who reached withering heights as a tenant and uh, under the ownership of the Heathcliff. Heathcliff lived in withering heights, placed in moorland. That means the desert. And one night, Lockwood stay in the withering heights. And at night, when he fall asleep, he had a dream or nightmare. In nightmare, he saw that Catherine, the female protagonist character of the novel, uh, appears as a ghost. And to see that Lockwood become very frightened and rushes. into the house and the next morning he returns to the thascos grants and nelly din who is the housekeeper of the uh, how who is the housekeeper tells the entire story of the withering heights and the ghost appearance of the catherine so uh, here we find the brilliant flashback uh, which is created by imli bronte yahan par imli bronte ne ek brilliant flashback create kiya hai early 13 years that means the 13 years before the story placed now the 13 years before the past that means in the earlier 13 years mr uh, ansho and Miss, uh, mr ansho lived uh, with his children means uh, hindle and catherine on the trip of the liverpool street he finds uh, heathcliff as a wolf and he picked up the wolf person and brings up as his own child uh, in that moment hindle feels that that he is totally deprived of his father's affection that's why hindle too much hate hate heathcliff here we find the hatred of the hindle towards heathcliff and heathcliff and catherine becomes very good friend and they play each of the moment in the moorland they send um, for college for 3 years and uh, during the 3 years the skipper of the withering heights that means the mr ansho died and while returning of the hindle uh, he became the owner of the house withering heights and he allows to heathcliff to stay on withering heights not as a family member but as a servant of the house and that context in that moment we perfectly define the character heathcliff so if we define the character heathcliff um, heathcliff may be defined as a dark monostonous capable of ingrained hatred and savage personality and in the next uh, portion of the novel we see that heathcliff and catherine uh, go goes to uh, thascos grants 
to spy on Edgar and Isabella and in that time after discovering they caught that means Catherine and Heathcliff caught by the dog of Edgar Linton and Catherine now Catherine take the hospital of Edgar and Isabella that means the Tasco's grants and while Heathcliff sent to the withering heights and Catherine was impressed by the elegance uh, appearance elegance gentle appearance of the Thasco's grants means Elton's family while returning Thasco's grant Catherine saw uh, Heathcliff as a savage and he um, did not like Heathcliff's personality uh, but Heathcliff passionately loved Isabella and Catherine maybe also loved uh, Heathcliff but when Heathcliff um, over here uh, the conversation between Catherine and Nelly Dean. Uh, Catherine, uh, te, uh, Catherine told um, Nelly Dean that he could not, uh, that she could not have married Heathcliff because it would degenerate her. And after listening that Heathcliff did not want to stay the house and he left the house. That means withering heights. After three years, Heathcliff returns with a mysteriously enriched and found insignificantly married insignificantly Catherine married to uh, Edgar Linton and he did not like that and that time he warmly welcomed by Hindley now Hindley lived with his son and Harriton and that moment we find the revenge of Heathcliff towards Harriton uh, he uh, his revenge his process of revenge continue to force Harriton on gambling and drinking and it would became and it caused Harriton's death. Harriton now Heathcliff makes his revenge towards Harriton by pushing him by gambling and drinking and thus brings his death. But his revenge does not coince here. Uh, he makes his revenge towards uh, Hindley's son Harriton too and he uh, takes his revenge on Harriton in the same way uh, as Hindley and at that moment Catherine uh, gives a bath of a little child uh, the name is little child is Kathy Kathy and after giving the birth of the little child uh, Catherine died and Kathy inherited the same stubborn will from her mother and after Kathy does not hear his father Edgar's warning and she Catherine means Catherine enters the house withering heights and Heathcliff makes her as a imprisoned in withering heights and uh, Heathcliff wants to uh, wants that Heathcliff's uh, son that means uh, is a, in that moment is, uh, Heathcliff makes a um, fugitive with Isabella and Isabella and Heathcliff makes a son that means Linton and Heathcliff always mistress Isabella Heathcliff's son Linton is, uh, is a poorish and ill boy who always lie on the bed and Kathy loves Linton not this love not as a sensual love this love like a love of mother and son and sister of his brother etc and Linton he, Kathy sees Linton as his as her brother but Heathcliff wants that Kathy uh, married with Linton but Kathy does not want that at that moment Linton died and Kathy totally alone and this aloneness could be established by Harriton and ha in that moment Harriton and Kathy married to each other so this is the overall plot of the novel and we find in that novel that the morality idealness of the two houses, that means the uh, withering highs and the Thasco's grants reunited through the reconciliation of Kathy and Harriton. So, many pura plot analysis kalle hai withering heights ka ye ek masterpiece hai emily bronet ka for my opinion uh, for my personal view head clip totally impressed me and now in my personal opinion the character of the head clip too much impressed me and uh, in the film withering heights the film version of the withering heights Timothy Dalton plays the role of Heathcliff and the acting of the Timothy Dalton is really impressive. So, I have Withering Heights total plot analysis of Withering Heights. So, this is Withering Heights total analysis of the plot. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and subscribe to the bell icon. Don't forget to subscribe to the bell icon.